we were together for a very long time. Mm. And I believe this wasn't just a financial crime, this was also a murder. So I think it's, there's been 14 suspicious deaths, all on British soil. Why haven't our police force investigated these deaths? The, the coroner recorded an open verdict. Yes. You say, as far as you're aware, the police did no investigating. You spoke to them 18 months ago. What, ha what happened then? What was the outcome of that? Well, they, they just haven't done anything. And they've actually admitted that they didn't do an, a, a full investigation. So I would like to know, now there's been further suspicious circumstances with further people, I would like the inquest opened up and I'd like the police to fully investigate how Scott came to that position where he was found dead and who by. And would that, do you believe, help you get the 26 million that you say that you are owed? Well, it, it, as I say, it was a financial crime as well as a murder. So How I do you think know that? It's, it's obvious from all the research, all the sources that I have, and I have many sources. Right, but why would somebody want him dead? To stop him paying you? Correct. What happened, he used professionals, lawyers to restructure all the assets offshore like many other wealthy husbands do during divorce proceedings, many wealthy people in our country, in fact, Victoria, use offshore structures mm. for their assets. So he did exactly the same as what many other people did. And the people, the lawyers, that actually had the power of attorney over the assets, I believe could be implicated. And whether that leads to Russian connections, British connections, at this stage, we really don't know in the until it's investigated. In the run-up to Scott Young's death, four of his friends also died in what are described as suspicious circumstances. Mm. And were they financial crimes in your view as well? Possibly. They were all very wealthy people. Mm. So what happened? What is it that you're... I mean, you, you, you say you want a full investigation by the Met. Yeah. Um, the Home Secretary has replied to a Labour MP suggesting that uh, in terms of a wider inquiry to the other suspicious deaths on British soil, her focus at the moment is on what's happening in Salisbury. Yes. And then Amber Rudd says, however, in the weeks to come, I will want to satisfy myself that the allegations are nothing more than that, i.e. the allegations surrounding people like your ex-husband and others. The police and MI5 agree and will assist in that endeavour. And I will uh, write to you again with my conclusions. Is that enough for you? Well. I would like to see, as I said, after Scott was found, there was no forensic work done by the police. Third parties who were implicit in this fraud that has been taken place were never questioned. And there was hard evidence with the documents that I showed the police that implicated people regarding this financial crime. And I would like to know what kind of a country are we living in where the police are not investigating situations like this.